Hmm, this one, no. Maybe this one. But which pen is the best for sketching cars and products? Oh. Hello guys, many of you asked me about which pen do I use for sketching cards and products so I wanted to make a video to share with you what I use for sketching regularly. Whenever I go to an art store or whenever I see some different pens, different tools, it can be also like acrylic paint or oil paint or pastels, whatever. Whenever I see those tools, I just want to grab and I just want to try it out. I guess you have the same feeling like when you see lots of pens, different pens, some of them are really expensive like fancy stuff, some of them are really affordable and you want to grab and and sketch something but sometimes you don't like the feeling of the pen or sometimes it's bleeding a lot and you have like all your hands covered with black ink which is not super fun or you want to sketch something while going to somewhere like in the bus or in the tram or in the plane I don't know that's actually why I like pens over pencils generally let's say not all the time but I like the practicality of the pens like you can just grab one just remove the cap or you can just if it's mechanical you can just push the button and you start sketching you don't need to care about sharpener or a knife to sharpen it like what I do generally so mostly I prefer pens because of practicality and I also like the clean lines of the pens but of course I love the texture and the shading of a pencil I want to directly come to point which is my favorite pens I love to experiment many different tools like different pens and pencils or charcoal markers all these different tools but also I consider myself kind of like a minimal on this approach because I travel a lot and I don't want to carry all this big box of pens with me all the time so I was in search for years like what is the best pen that I can rely on for a long time and it's also practical for me with a good quality obviously so I came up with the most classical pen which is a big big medium pen it has really nice grip it has really it's very light pen and it's super affordable it's something like 50 cents I guess you can probably find it everywhere in the world. I, I guess you already seen one. Soon I will make a sketch with this, but I just want to first quickly show you my favorites. So Big Pen is my favorite. Like maybe 85% or 90% of time I use this Big Pen because it's very practical, lightweight. So I used to carry it with me for years in my pocket. So it's a very nice pen. I also love the shading. It's great for quick sketching. Also, if you want to take your time and give like a nice smooth shading, it's, it's really nice. Also, it's not bleeding. Like you will not have much of the marks on your hand. The second pen I want to talk about is actually the Big Brother of the Classic. It's also Big, Big Brother of Big, whatever. Big Classic, it's 1.6 millimeters, like it's thicker, so this way you can emphasize the lines that you made with this pen, or if you are sketching on a big size paper, like A3, or maybe bigger, I like to use this one because it's better to show the lines on bigger scales with this pen. Or even if I'm sketching on small paper, generally prefer this one, then I can use this one for some shadings or some emphasizes. If you didn't watch my video about three tips to improve your sketches, I also talk about the line weight. Having this variation helps you to put this kind of line weight or dynamism in your sketches. The third pen I'm gonna talk about is this one. It's a Pentel BK77 Super B. It has really like a thin tip. I really like the grip of this pen and you can really sketch very precise lines. You can also use rulers or this kind of things to clean your lines after the underlay of your original sketch. And again, I really like how clean is this pen, how clean I can sketch my lines. I, I really like that. I saw it on Daniel Simon's website actually years ago that he said he's using this one. So I just gave it a try and uh, since then I use it, but it's not my priority pen to be honest. Also, I experienced some bleedings. So every once in a while you, you just need to clean the tip with a napkin or something. The fourth pen I want to talk about is the Schneider. Schneider Tops 505F, I think. I mean, I, I'm not sure about the label because when I see this pen, I just know it and I really love the shading of it. Uh, the difference is it feels really like a dry, like ink is not bleeding. It feels almost like a pencil, but very thin and accurate pencil. And you can do really nice smooth uh, shadings with this pen. That's what I love about it. Also because of it's very thin, you can have really nice clean strokes. Also when you are using very little pressure on the paper, of course it's same with other pens, but this one gives you really, really uh, low opacity lines and I really love it. And these are the four pens that I really love. These are my, um, let's say, top four pens. And then, of course, I know you want to ask, what about the pencils? For the pencils, I don't use them a lot, as much as the pens, but when I use, I prefer Faber-Castell Polychromos. 
Uh, this one is black, but I also like dark indigo. It's like a dark blue, but it's less saturated. So it gives like a, a little bit of color to your sketch, but it's not like a pop art style, colorful sketches. Also the black one is really nice. I love the shading of these pencils. And I also like to combine them. Like I can sketch with the uh, big at the first, then I can use this pencil for some shading, some areas to emphasize and to show these volumes in a better way. And the last pen I will show you is probably the most multitasking pen that I I used and I really like it because you can use it for airbrush, you can use it for pencil or pen textures or whatever you want because it's a Wacom pen. I actually don't know which one is it, like they have different generations, but I bought a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD before and this is the pen of that one. And I really like the ergonomics of it. I like these buttons here. So I use this pen for all my digital drawings and digital sketches, everything on tablet since I don't know, since many years, let's say. All right, now uh, now you saw the pens that I use, that I like to use. Oh, I just wanna sketch with them to show you how it feels and how it looks on the paper. So when I'm talking, you already seen that I was sketching these. I used the classic big for this one, and then I used the thicker big for this one here, and then I used the Pentel for line, uh, very light lines on this one. And after that, I used the pencil Faber-Castell for the little shadings here or starting from zero that very dark and contrast sketch here and then i used schneider for this very nice gradient effect here so now i want to sketch a car of course rather than starting from zero i think it's more efficient to use my templates if you don't know these are the templates i created for for you that you can download from the link in the description this one this is hatchback and you will see it on the free version so you can just download directly and print it on any paper and just start sketching or if you are seriously interested in car design and if you want to learn from me the basics of car design you can get the full pack where you will find 30 different templates for nine different categories you will see suvs luxury sedans sports cars supercars station wagons hatchbacks micro cars and compact sedans so you will have this nine segments and 30 different categories and the point of those templates is I teach you here the proportions and perspective. You practice them in an easy way because you will have low opacity here and then your muscle memory and your brain will understand the proportions and perspective which are the most important things. Then after some time of practice you will be able to put this knowledge on paper without any template easily. There is also one hour of video tutorial inside so just go to the link and download your copy. By the way if you already have the full pack I have good news for you because I will have an update soon. I will put some new videos and I will put new templates and of course as you already have the full pack the updates will be free for you but if you don't have it I suggest you to take it now because after update also the price will get higher so let's start with the big so I will go to this little sketch here and I start with very gently without pushing the pen too much and I'm just putting some character lines to the car and I'm just adding some surface treatment surface styling let's say also it creates a design concept like here like here it's kind of like an arrow and I put very quick wheels exaggerated rims let's say while sketching I realized that I can make it like a Lexus with this grill so I put the very basic lines to the car by the way it's totally um, real-time sketching so I'm talking at the same time it's not super easy as I if you realize let's say the reason I'm doing it is because many people ask me like what is the speed of the sketch and you want to see the full-time sketching you will see it on the template pack if you have it but if not I also wanted to show you here like how easy to use those templates I can put in some wheels some rims kind of triangular shape and i can say it's like already one proposal and on this one i didn't even put headlights so i can just basically put very thin headlights and i want to show you also the other pen so this was the big medium and let's get let's get a pencil maybe to show you how i mix them like i can add some surface treatment here to show the reflection there and I can emphasize the lines, which should be thicker. And I want to quickly add the grill area black. Maybe it can be continuous, like the whole roof until here. So I can first put the up, first put the outline, and then I can just easily, very lightly, because I don't want it super dark. I just want to add like a, another tone. 
because if we do it super dark we cannot show the shadows and surface so I'm making it very light just to show that it's a different color and then I start to add the surface treatments so for example if we have a shadow here like this now it's visible or also here if we have another surface treatment we can make it darker then it's kind of blurry because it's very small area for a pencil maybe so I get the big crystal 1.6 millimeter so with this one I just emphasize the, the separations of this different pen, pen pen pencil separation and I'm emphasizing some lines that I want in a more crispy way adding the wheels maybe a little bit of silhouette of the car so this is like one sketch in my opinion it's enough for a doodle actually it's a bit more than a doodle because doodle is a bit quicker than this but yeah I can say that's one sketch and I didn't care about perspective and proportions because I already had the main lines so it was really helpful now we can try to do the same with another template here we have an SUV template it's on the full pack I want to use the thick one the 1.6 millimeter because when the paper size is bigger for example here when we have a really big sketch it's easier to use a thicker pen because if I use the light one for example let's say if I use that one Pentel to me sometimes it's too light I mean to emphasize the lines proportion wise the line thickness to the car I don't I'm not satisfied with this pens generally so I'm using rather a pencil or like a thick big so as you see also here on the on the tip of the big we have a little bit of bleeding so what I do is sometimes I use a napkin and just just roll it to clean it a little bit and then I continue sketching so if you see it's easier to emphasize the lines with this thick pens, thick pens. and about the templates I don't want you to use follow all these lines totally for example I did this one but actually we can we can use another one we can use this one I also mention all these things of course on the full pack but I want to tell you that because if I have a straight line here it means there's a shoulder it doesn't mean that you need to draw a straight line you can make it more like a curvy line here it can even follow on the front and maybe you can have another line going this way and even the spoiler can be different shape like this different form and you can even have like a maybe vertical lines vertical lights sorry and here you can have a different treatment of course some exhaust it's a very quick sketch so I'm not focusing on every detail I'm just putting the wheel even a little bit bigger than the template it's all up to you you can use like uh, heavy wheels like more off-road style wheels so you can emphasize it also on the other side of the car I'm just putting the wheels yeah let's focus on the pens <laughs> I just don't want to go too much in details for the car sketch I will make it a little bit faster here like the line weight that I mentioned on my other video is this here it's thicker and here it's getting lighter and thanks to this pen I'm able to do that and also as I said it's a very strong one so let's try to use another one let's use the Schneider which has like a dry feeling as I said before so here I want to emphasize the shading a little bit in a very soft gentle way so to do that first I'm drawing the wheelhouse and then I'm gonna give a gradient here so this surface is going out also here but here it will go a little bit in and outside this is the section section line so in that case we will have shadow a little bit here and also like this so this will be a highlight this will be the shadow I like to rotate the paper in parallel to my arm movement and here I will add the shading I start my hand goes very fast but I go close to the paper very slowly like it's very gentle very soft shading if as you see I'm also checking from the camera so it's a little bit weird feeling but I think it's visible that it's very light and soft shading and I can also repeat the same here so the advantage of Schneider is also when you do a sketch from zero with this pen it looks like almost printed rather than just uh, done on the paper it's it's really impressive in my opinion 
So after you do some shading, imagine you did it all the car, but I prefer not to all the car, but you can do, you can put a circle and you can say, this is your emphasize focus point. So on this part, for example, you can be way more rough. You can maybe just do it like that. And here you can focus on the shading. This was the first layer of the shading. And now I want to make this one a bit more uh, darker. So I just repeat the same process. You can put a bit more pressure on the paper if you want, or even without that, you will see the difference already. So as you see, there is very easy, simple tone difference between these two area. So I think we used all the pens, maybe not that one, so I can show it on this smaller template here on the SUE. I can quickly make a sketch and the point of this pen, as I said, is very clean and very crispy lines. The difference from Schneider is Schneider is also very thin and crispy, but Pentel has a little bit more the pen, ballpoint pen feeling. To me, Schneider is really feeling dry. It's, I don't know how to explain it better, but it feels like it will never have bleeding problems or it's always like a immediately drying ink here. But on this one, you have more smooth and you can also feel it on the paper. You feel the texture of the paper in a different way. So let's make a quick, I don't know, some different kind of design. Let's try. Let's say it goes totally up here. It's like a door shot line. And while doing sketches, an additional tip, just do it like longer than what you need to sketch. If you wanna sketch it like this exactly, rather than that, first couple strokes can be longer and then you can intersect and you can continue. Again, if you didn't watch my video about how to improve your sketches, like three tips to improve your sketches, I talk about this there and I will probably leave the link below on the description so you can just go and check it out. So let's put like very quick five spokes here and also here. Just the point is showing you the pen. So after this very rough lines, let's say I like that movement here. So first I will clean it a little bit more. What I mean by cleaning is like the lines were a little bit like this, so you cannot erase it. So the better way is just emphasize it and without that glitching ends, it will look more clean. So here, that's what I'm trying to do. And after that, let's say the surface is kind of flat here, but here we have this highlight. So there will be an highlight. And let's say here a little bit inside. And of course the curve, the surface is never totally flat. So there will be always some kind of shading. So we can make it like, let's say here we have the high highlight of the wheel arch. So this area will be highlighted. This area in between will be all shadow. So I will quickly make shading here. As you see, it's also a very thin edge, thin tip. What is it called? I'm not sure. So we are able to have really clean shading here. And then there will be the secondary shade because of it will be under the surface here. So I can just continue the process as we did with the Schneider. So I think it's enough to demonstrate how to use, I mean, not how to use, but just to see how it works. Because maybe you are not able to just get it immediately tomorrow and you are excited, you are curious about how they work, how they feel. That's why I wanted to do this quick sketchings. So here we saw, maybe we didn't make this one, the pencil. So maybe let's quickly make something directly from zero with the pencil. Like, let's make this one a um, Porsche face. Let's, let's try to make a Porsche hatchback. If you are a Porsche fan, don't get annoyed by this because I'm also a Porsche fan and I know that Porsche hatchback sounds a little bit weird, but I will just try something on the face area. I will just make it a little bit lower nose with a softer curve here. And I would make some kind of soft headlights, but not totally round like a 911, more like a Taycan maybe. Taycan? Taycan? I can anyway and we can put some again soft surface treatment you can see the goal of uh, the goal of this sketch the reason I picked Porsche is to show you that with these templates you can also put your creativity easily it doesn't have to follow sharp or organic it, it, it all depends on what you want to put you can even make it like a Polestar car here or a Porsche, very organic. It's all up to your imagination. So with pencil, it's easier to put thick lines. So this way it's easier to create the general shape of the face. Let's say here, put the glass of the headlight.
I put the typical four dot, four, four point headlights. And if you see on my pencil, I didn't use the pencil sharpener, I did it by with knife. So it's more like a flat. On the flat parts, you can use it more like a thick area. If you need the sharp edges, like I did it here, you can just rotate the pen and you can use the sharp one, sharp area. So let's put very basic shading here to show how the surface rotates. And here we can add highlight. While shading, I always start from the light to the, to the darker, because this way you can control in a better way. If you start directly from the dark, and then if you regret, if you wanna change, it's too light. But if you start from the light, and if it's too light, you can always add more darkness. So let's make the wheel arch here. Let's put a five box rim. One, two, three, four, five. And I wanna put that three line rim, like 997 generation turbo. It had this very curvy, like when you look at it from far, it looks like there are three lines on each spoke. I will not go into details of the rear or this kind of things. It's, we are not designing it. And let's make the air intakes darker. To be honest, I was not planning to make this video that long, but when I start sketching, it's, it became kind of spontaneously like that. But you guys are always asking me how to sketch. So I just wanted to make a quick, quick trailer. And if you, again, I like to repeat that because if you get the full template pack, you will see more designs, more sketchings real time from me. And again, I will update it with more and more stuff. So I think it's very useful. And I always heard good comments from my students. And if you are one of them, please also write down in the comments what you think, because I always get uh, positive feedback before I update. If you have any thoughts, additional things that I can add, you can just tell me and I will definitely consider your messages. As you know, I try to answer everyone on Instagram and you can also send me your stuff on Instagram. So guys, I think that's enough for this sketch for this video. And I think we see the difference of all these pens. I would also like to show you this one, of course, but it doesn't work on the paper. So another time I will make a Photoshop tutorial and I will show you the digital, digital sketchings. So guys, these are my favorite pens. And if you ask me which one would I pick if I can use only one pen for the rest of my life, I would pick probably ah, something between these two. I mean, it's stupid actually. This is Wacom Digital and I can do everything. And this is the big that I can use for everything on the paper. So I would pick these two because I mean, these two are essentials for me. Okay. if. Okay, big is the king. <laughs> you know, I, I have to use that one because, you know, it's the essential, it's the most basic thing. And it's very affordable and I can find it everywhere. So this is definitely the winner. So guys, I hope you find this video useful and you like it. And if so, please show it on the like button. And also, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe me because I share this kind of videos about car design or product design or sketching, this kind of topics. So I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, of course it doesn't work on the paper, but I wish it was. I mean, imagine, imagine if you can just, hmm, maybe you would change the nib with the big pen and it would be like the magic pen. It would be like, it would do everything. It's great, I love it. But you, my old friend, yeah, I love you too. Ah, I need to say one thing. I don't know if I told it on the video, but like all these things, when you see, like they all are cool. Yeah, I love them all. But this Schneider, this yellow, orange, yellow color, it reminds me of the old office, like, or old nostalgic stuff. I don't know, I don't, I don't like the color or design of this outside, also with this black cap. I mean, it feels like, I don't know. I mean, this pen is also old. I don't know for how many years they produced this pen. It's one of the most product produced pens, I guess. But look, I mean, I love the design of this way more than that. This is also old, but it's more like iconic old, iconic design, let's say. But this one is, yeah. Anyway, guys, see you.